bitch out me So the gang when I walk into my block list Got my ex tryna put me on a What's up YouTube, it's Coach A back at you with another video. We had a lot of fun running through this workout as you'll see. The equipment I used were some pro bands and sliders and the focus of this session was building power and speed exploding out during the first 20 to 30 yards of a sprint. As you will see, we did resisted and unresisted sprints and resistance training afterwards. So let's get it. We did a full warm up routine, which was not recorded, but as you'll see, we focused on moving the hips around and exposing them to a variety of positions. I always talk about how the hips are a tight area for a lot of athletes, especially soccer players, and know that if this is you, your glutes will not fully activate, limiting the amount of force you will produce. As we ramped up the intensity of the warm-up, we did some ACL or D-cell sprints to get the body used to sprinting and decelerating. So we're still not going at 100%, we're just priming those muscles so we can go our full potential during our actual workouts. And if you want to be a more explosive and dangerous athlete, don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I upload exclusive content seven days a week. It'll be the first link in the box below. We began with some plyometrics with some alternating lunge jumps, focusing on exploding out and being reactive as soon as we make that contact onto the ground. We performed four sets of five reps on each leg. Getting into the fun stuff, we did resistance sprints for four sets at 30 yards each. And what better way to have a great workout and have fun all at the same time trying to pull your workout partner. Fair warning, this might not be the safest, especially if the person pulling you explodes out of the starting position, so just be cautious and grab on tight. Next, we did full on unresisted sprints again for 30 yards for four sets. The starting positions you will see include the two point stance, falling and the three point stance. After the sprint session, we followed up with a circuit comprised of pull-ups, squat through position holds, and rotational perpendicular tosses. Pull-ups ranged from 8 to 12 reps, never going to failure and leaving 2 reps in the tank until the last set where we repped it all out. The 3 position hold we held at 10 seconds on each angle. And last but not least, 5 tosses were done on each side for the rotational toss. We went for four total sets. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.